can find boys and girls of the world it's your boyfriend boy next door the most gorgeous boy in the world found right next door and that's all mm -hmm. period if you're watching this video please make sure to like comment share and subscribe and also follow me on all my social media platforms that's at fanboy next door on instagram and tiktok and original fanboy on twitter let's get straight into this video right as you would have seen by the title of today's video we're really going to be getting some things you know and just putting these first years on onto like some of the things that they should look out for when coming into university you know um because if you don't listen to these tips okay <laughs> so the first tip is attend your first year events and activities this is very important you know very 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 important so if you want to be able to find your way around campus by the time learning starts attend your first year events and activities okay or else you're gonna get lost and people you're gonna ask for directions and people are gonna give you the wrong directions and you're gonna spend the whole day running around like a headless chicken so to avoid that situation i think that it's just best for you to attend these events and just like get that out of the way and also you're gonna be able to like suss out the vibe of the university you know really feel if you know that's where you really wanna be and then also you're gonna be able to make friends so if you're shy or like you're not one person who makes friends is easily or like you're not one person who is able to like approach people and be like hi i want to be your friend da, 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 da. um this is going to be one thing that is going to be helpful to you making friends and just like finding your feet into the university um number two <laughs> number two is leave boys and girls alone oh i guess my looks so okay before you start attacking me before you start attacking me just listen to me because Okay, not leave them alone like forever, no, hell no. But like for the first half of semester one, just leave dating alone, just so you can settle properly into like uni life, you know? You know, just so you can find your feet, you know, without other people influencing the decisions you make. And also, you don't wanna be dizzy and get into a relationship with someone only to see someone hotter three weeks later and just be like, what did I get myself into? You don't want that. So give yourself time to really see the variety of the meats on campus. <laughs> <laughs> Not me calling people meats, but then like just give yourself time to like see what's out there, you know. Don't just get into relationships like after you've just arrived on campus. I mean you just arrived, so relax, okay? Uh, uh, uh. Relax! Relax. Relax, okay? Relax. Okay. Um number 3 is um choose friends wisely. This one is really important because your company, your company, the people that you keep around you, they can literally make your life easy or make your life very difficult. And I had to learn this the hard way, you know, because like I I think I wasn't really protective of my energy and my environment and the people that I allowed into my space. And then I really ended up, you know, going through some situations that I definitely could have avoided. <laughs> you know, I got into some drama, you know, things that like I really sh shouldn't have involved myself in. You know and some things just followed me because of the people that i used to hang around with so just really suss out your vibe you know 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 your people you know and because relationships are like things that are tricky i can't really give you tips like if someone does this then cut them off or if they do this cut them off because people are different but then if something is not for you you're gonna feel it in your gut so trust your instincts and just um Stay away from negative energy you know yeah and be with people that are going to push you into the person that you want to become you know you can't chill around with people who don't go to lessons and think that the motivation to um go to your classes and attend your tutorials is just gonna come out of nowhere it's not it's really not so you must really pick the people that you want you know that are gonna help you to push yourself into becoming the person that you want to be um 
Number four, don't be stupid. Do not be stupid. You know, don't be stupid. Um, some of these first years really be doing dumb shit on campus, and I'm just like, hey, bro. <laughs> Why? For example, you just got there, and like people are trying to sell you textbooks without even finding out what like the required textbooks are. You're out here taking these people numbers and buying these textbooks that you don't know so really just take your time you know and just be just be here don't be dumb you know with because a lot of people that are already in university are going to be trying to make a quick buck out of you and because they know you're probably you know um they're going to try their chances so really just be here don't be be okay um another thing is attend your lectures and tutorials this one is very 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 important as at the university what i would do like we're not there to like have fun we are there to have fun but then like that's not the main objective why you're there you're there to get your degree so you must really focus in on the things that um you're there for you know friends partying all of those things they're good yes but then all of them come after after your degree so Focus your energy on your schoolwork, you know Do all your assignments on time mm, That's gonna be a little bit shaky But then try your best to like really put your best foot forward when it comes to your academics Because that is what you are there for, you know You don't want to find yourself in a situation where you filled 75% of your modules And you're up for academic exclusion And like um, NSFAST doesn't want to fund you next year and like your bursary drops you or like all of those things you know don't you don't want to find yourself there because it's a very tight spot to be in so i really advise you guys to really put in the work you know go to your tutorials attend your lectures if you don't understand don't be afraid to you know speak up if you are afraid wait until the lecture finishes then go to the to the lecturer and be like hey i don't understand so and so you know just really put in, you know, make make an effort to like do well in your schoolwork, you know, so that you're not in, you know, don't find yourself in sticky positions. Um, yeah. The next tip is spend your money wisely, you know. <laughs> At uni, we are not the same. Our situations are not the same, you know. Some of your friends might be able to like um eat take out the whole week you know they might be able to go out each and every weekend you know they might be able to afford these designer things you know where these expensive colognes and perfumes you know come to school dripping in these expensive bands but then that's not you baby girl baby boy that's not you you know you must really understand your situation and spend your money um in the way that it's going to benefit you the most you know and another thing this one is for the drip kings and queens if you're a drip king and queen you really don't need to spend a lot of bucks you know to really like look good and stylish on campus or like anyway you can go to thrift stores you know um where like you can thrift and get like you know secondhand goodies i don't want to say secondhand but like pre-loved items you know they really some of them are really in good shape so just go there you don't really have to go to your h&m and your factory to like break your bank um just spend your money wisely and do the things that you want to do not what you're pressured by others to do so just know where you are know your situation and spend your money accordingly um another tip is do not compare yourself to other people this one is very important do not compare yourself to other people, okay? That's not cool, first of all. Like, it's just not cool because, like, you'll never be able to become another version of someone else, you know? And you trying to compare your situation to their situation is just doing something that I find personally to be dumb because you're not going to get anything out of that. So just don't compare yourself to other people and like add unnecessary pressure to yourself. If your friend is up, is able to come to school with a MacBook and your parents just got you a Dell from an incredible connection, love your Dell, you know, and leave other people's business alone because you're there for you, you know. You're not you're not there for other people, you're there for you. 
so focus on your own you know own lane own pace you know own race so focus on yourself and like don't really compare yourself to other people even if you know like in in all of the situations when it comes to money when it comes to social status because like there's some you know you'll know like we have different levels at uni but like when it comes to things like that and when it comes to academics don't compare yourself to other people you're there for yourself you know so own lane own pace another tip is don't sit at the back Oh, <laughs> don't go to the back. Like, it's really that simple. And I wish someone had personally told me this. Don't go to the back. Because when you go to the back, the back will do this to you. Okay? And you don't want to find yourself in a situation where the whole year you're at the back. Don't go to the back because, first of all, you might not be able to see. Second of all, you're going to miss some things. You know, I don't care. Like, I, I literally don't care. But you're going to miss some things if you're at the back. Rather sit in the middle. You know, that's where my friends and I like to sit. Or, like, sit at the front. But, like, don't go to the back. The back, hey, the back will swallow you. Don't go to the back. Right. And then another one of my tips is join clubs and societies, you know. And find ways to cement yourself in other things that are not your academics you know yes school is important yes your academics are what you're there for but then again you don't want to just be your academics the whole year when you have the opportunity to like cement yourself in other things that are not academically related you know so join your your school's cheer team you know um join the chess club join the dance club just do something that's not academically related that you, you're going to be interested in. And I would advise first years to stay away from those career-focused clubs and societies because they really don't do a lot for first years because a lot of the opportunities that they do end up um, giving out are not catered for first years. The requirements are usually second year or third year or even fourth year. So... I'm really advising um, you guys to not join such clubs and societies, but join clubs and societies of um, the things that you're going to be, you know, enjoying. If you're interested in um, chess, do chess. If you're inter interested in dance, do dance. If you're interested in, um, what's this, cheerleading, join the cheer team. Like, just do all of these things that are not school-related that um, you're going to enjoy. So, like... I really advise that they're also a great way for making friends, you know, and developing yourself in, um, in university, you know, and yeah, that's just like something that I would really advise first years to do. Um, and then another thing is dating. So, <laughs> with dating, I, I can't really say much, you know, besides trust your guts and have fun. That's, that's really, I think that those are the most important things. What, even though you're going to be having fun, have responsible fun. You know, don't just be, you know, you must be, you know. So have safe fun. <laughs> have safe fun and stay true to yourself, you know. Don't lose yourself when you're dating, you know. If you know that you're not, you are not one person to tolerate something, don't tolerate it because you're still in your first year, you know. You have, like, so much to look forward to like your life is not going to end at the end of your first year you still have second year third year fourth year and the rest of your life so um don't settle in first year if you find someone and they tell you that they like you you know don't settle if it's time for you to leave them leave them you know and i think this doesn't only just apply to dating but it also applies to like everything your friendships you know um in, in all the things that you're doing, if you find that that's not where you're happy, remove yourself from that situation because one thing you're not about to do is ruin your first year. So um, if something is not aligning with the person that you are, make sure to cut it out, you know, and always trust your gut feeling because that thing does not lie. It does not lie, okay? So yeah, then last but not least, and this is like one of the most important things to do in first year, have fun you know it's very important for you to have a lot lots 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 and lots and lots and lots and lots of fun have fun you know if you wanna 
you know get involved in some risky behavior like partying from friday until monday do it even if it's just once even if it's just once you know but like if you you're able to have fun like any opportunity you have to have fun don't waste it you know don't just be in your room sleeping go out shake your bomb bomb you know <laughs> so make sure you have fun in your first year you know that's really important so just so that like you can have something to look back on and be like okay actually in first year i had a really great time so those are all my tips for first years um and if you've made it to the end of the video please make sure to like this video you know like the video share comment subscribe please do all of those things and don't forget to follow me on all my social media platforms that's at fanboy next door underscore on tiktok and instagram and at original fanboy at no at original fanboy on twitter guys i'll see you later you know this was fun and first years have the time of your life. Enjoy. <laughs> you know, that was litty.